Well, it's uh, Monday evening. I look tired, mostly because I'm lit from above, but, uh, yeah. Um, swine flu is definitely breaking out here. It's kind of interesting. Um, yeah. It doesn't seem that scary. People are making, are doing, uh, they're taking a lot more precautions, and they, they're, the news is making a big deal out of it, and the, the news sounds horrible. But it doesn't seem quite so bad here. Um, Japanese people typically wear masks on the subway. Uh, well, some of them do, not everyone. Um, like I said, I, I disagree with the hand-washing practices and the way that people cough here, but maybe that'll change with this. Um, uh, in Kobe, most of the schools, if not all the schools, are closed in Kobe. Um, a good portion of the schools are closed here in Osaka as well. Um, I went to an elementary school today, or, sorry, kindergarten today. Really little kids. Um, just three of them for one class, and uh, the woman who organized it said uh, that one of the other schools was closed today. Uh, will be closed throughout the week, um, one of the other ones that she goes to. But this one wasn't closed. They did remind us to sanitize our hands on the way in. They had the bottles of uh, basically alcohol, and there's a, a slight bit of uh, moisturizer in it so your hands don't dry out when you use it. And they had two bottles of that in the entryway. One of the teachers reminding anyone who came in, please sterilize your hands. Um, I also went to the hospital today to get the results back from a test that I did last week. And compared to last week, more of the doctors and more of the nurses are wearing masks. I would say it looked like 90% uh, of the staff and 70 to 80% of the people in there were also wearing masks. Most of them as a precaution. Um, they weren't sniffling. You could tell that they were just, you know, they were brand new masks. They just put them on. And I actually wore one on the way inside, too. Um, uh, maybe just being part of the culture. Um, yeah. So it's... Yeah definitely going around. I have to uh, teach an English class tomorrow and I'll be teaching um, 10 students all recently entered into a company so uh, in the early 20s um, hopefully none of them are sick but when I teach English I can't wear a mask. Um, well I could but I think it's unprofessional and the biggest thing is they need to hear me speak clearly and they need to see my mouth when I speak. Yes, I make this motion because that's what I do with the kids uh, yeah, just noticing that habit. I do that with the kids when I want them to look at my mouth um, so that they get the pronunciation better. Um, so, hoping I don't get sick over the next few days. Um, taking my bike to Osaka Station is uh, it's not bad, but I have to go in a suit tomorrow. Riding my bike across town in a suit is not fun. So, we'll see. Probably train and mask again. Yeah. Anyways, um, that's all for tonight going to get some sleep so I can go and be an effective teacher. Oh, I also have um, a meeting tomorrow evening. Someone has told me that uh, there's a business opportunity but wouldn't tell me anything about it, even though I've known about this for two weeks. So I'm guessing it is something that feels somewhat scam-like. like uh, Something, uh, you know, an MLM type marketing strategy. Um, if you don't know what that is, look it up. It's Amway. Um, She's a nice person. I'm going more for uh, the fact that it's going to be a cultural experience. And I'm going with a friend, uh, another friend, who you know, the two of us decided we'd protect each other from the vicious hordes, whoever they are. Um, anyways, it should be fun. Uh, maybe I'll put that in the video later. Okay, good night.